what are sin and anti-addition? When you are adding two things across an alkene or alkyne, sin means that you're adding both of those two things on the same side of the double bond. Here is a classic alkene. It is a double bond and it is flat because all of these bond angles are 120 degrees. It would sit nice and flat against the paper. Sin would be if we added two new things, perhaps two H's, both coming at it from the top. And by the top, I mean from way up here, attacking it at a 90 degree angle to the plane of the molecule, both on the same side. Whereas anti is if one hydrogen took it from the top and the other one came from the bottom. An example of an anti addition is adding Br2 across cyclohexene. The way that this mechanism works is that the Br2 molecule, which is normally nonpolar, becomes slightly polarized because of the negative density in the double bond. It gives this Br a slightly positive charge, and because we're repelling the electrons just a little bit more this way, you get a negative charge, small negative charge there. What happens is this double bond breaks to attack the slightly positive bromine, and in addition, one of the lone pairs from that same bromine will attach itself to the other carbon. Most carbons want four bonds at all times, after all. Because of that, you end up with a Br that happens to be connected to both of the carbons. Remember, the electron density from the double bond created a single bond between this top carbon and the bromine, and the lone pair created another bond. It now has a formal charge of positive one, and the electrons from the bond here allow this bromine to have a formal charge of minus one. It's a bromide ion. Now, because of the way that the bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals are arranged in this, which by the way is called the brominium ion, if you want to look it up, that Br can only attack from the back. Perhaps this Br is actually coming out of the page at us. That Br has to come from behind to attack either this carbon or that carbon. The result is that you end up with cyclohexane with two bromines on it. Makes sense, you broke the double bond, but you added a Br to each of them. But if one of them is coming out of the page at you, the other one has to be going into the page in the opposite direction. One got added from behind, one got added from the top. The reason is the configuration of the intermediate. So you have to understand the mechanism to show why it happens. Here, I'll just emphasize what's happening here. That bromide attacks that carbon, and the electrons from that bond go to the positive bromine atom. Cool. Opposite sides of the double bond, one up, one down in the product. That is an anti-addition. An example of syn addition is when you use palladium or platinum to catalyze hydrogenation of a double bond. The reason this works is that if you have a palladium or platinum catalyst, the H2 molecules break apart into atoms that are single bonded to that catalyst. So if a new molecule comes along, like a cyclohexene, sure, you could pop an H off and attach it here. The double bond breaks, pop, 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 H comes off. The other carbon atom that's left with a slightly positive charge has to grab the other hydrogen atom, and you end up, I don't know, it's kind of like that hexagon rolls down onto the catalyst. Both of those H's are coming from the same direction because they're both attached to the same flat catalyst. So when you take a look at where those two things added, they are either both in front or both in back because they added to the same side of the double bond. It is a sin addition.
Cool, it's all about the configuration of the two things you're adding across a double bond that control whether or not we call it sin or anti. What actually controls whether a reaction is sin or anti actually comes down to the mechanism. Now, I kind of skipped over the mechanism here, but you have to be able to push the arrows around and understand where the positives and negatives can and cannot attack from. Cool. That's what it means. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.